Greetings, welcome to this new video about Thevenin's theorem. In this video, I will demonstrate the application of Thevenin's theorem through a step by step example explanation. By following along carefully, you will gain a clear understanding of how to apply Thevenin's theorem to solve practical problems. Let's dive in and begin with solve the problem number 13. Let's consider this network consisting of four resistors labeled R1 through R4 as well as two independent voltage sources VA and VB. The question now is to calculate the value of IX using Thevenin's theorem. IX is the current through the resistor R3. Let's move on to the solution by applying the Thevenin's theorem between terminals A and B, we can replace this circuit with a voltage source in series with the resistor, which will be denoted as VTH and RTH. In our example, RTH is connected in series with the R3, which plays the role of the load. I will start first with the determination of the Thevenin's resistance. We can, uh, this, this step can be done by removing all independent sources in the circuit, which means the voltage source will be replaced by a short circuit and the current sources will be replaced by an open circuit. The Thevenin's resistance represents the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B when R3 is uh, disconnected. That means RTH is equal to the parallel combination of R1 and R2 in parallel with the R4. I will consider RA is equal to the co parallel combination of R1 and R2. That means RA is equal to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. And if we replace the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain RA is equal to 1.71 ohms. RTH is equal to the parallel combination of RA and uh, R4. Therefore, RTH can be calculated using the following formula. RA times R4 over RA plus uh, R4. And if we replace RA and R4 with their numerical values, we obtain RTH is equal to 1.33 ohms. After finishing the determination of the Thevenin's resistance, we proceed to calculate the Thevenin's voltage. The Thevenin's voltage is basically the open circuit voltage between terminals A and B when R3 is disconnected. Now, to find the open circuit voltage VOC, I will apply Kirchhoff's laws. But first, I will consider I1 is the current through the resistor R1, I2 is the current through the resistor R2, and I3 is the current through the resistor R3. By applying Kirchhoff's current law at node N, we can write I1 minus I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. Now, by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop 1, we can write negative VA plus R1 times I1 plus R2 times I2 is equal to 0. And if we replace the voltage and the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain negative 14 plus 4 times I1 plus 3 times I2 is equal to 0. Now, by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop 2, we can write negative R2 times I2 minus VB plus R4 times I3 is equal to 0. The current flows in this direction is equal to 0 because we have here an open circuit. And if we replace the voltage and the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain negative 3 times I2 minus 6 plus 6 times I3 is equal to 0. Now from equation 3, we can write I3 in terms of I2. That means I3 is equal to 3 times I2 plus 6 over 6. And from equation 2, 
we can also write i1 in terms of i2 that means i1 is equal to 14 minus 3 times i2 over 4. now by substituting a and b in one we derive one equation in terms of uh, i2 if we continue simplifying this equation we obtain negative 12.5 times i2 plus 15 is equal to 0 that means i2 is equal to 15 over 12.5 we get 1.11 amps from a we have i3 is equal to 3 times i2 plus 6 over 6 and if we replace i2 with its numerical values we get i3 is equal to 1.55 amps now according to ohm's law voc is equal to r4 times i3 and if we replace r4 and i3 with their numerical values we obtain vth is equal to 9.33 volt after completing the calculation of VTH uh, and RTH, we can now calculate IX is equal to VTH over R3 plus RTH. And if we replace I, uh, VTH and R3 and RTH with their numerical values, we obtain IX is equal to 2.8 amps. Now, after completing the calculations, I perform a simulation using SPICE to verify our results now let's proceed to the spice environment here is our networks drone in spice simulator this is, is the original circuit and this is, is the thevenin's equivalent circuit i connect here a non-permeter in order to measure the current ix in the original circuit and here i connect also a non-permeter in order to measure the current ix in the thevenin's equivalent circuit let's move on to analysis they say analysis calculate nodal voltage we can see here that the current ix in the original circuit is equal to 2.8 amps and the current in the thevenin's equivalent circuit is equal to 2.8 amps from the simulation it becomes clear that the voltage or the current ix is similar when using both the original circuit and the Thevenin's equivalent. This similarity validates the correctness of our calculations. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time another video about Thevenin's theorem. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,